it grants us the forgiveness of sins. You didn't say that. Oh, the verse Ephesians 2 13. Ephesians 2 13. Yeah, amen. It grants us the forgiveness of sins. Colossians 1 14. It brings peace and reconciliation to God. Colossians 1 20. It has obtained eternal redemption for us. Hebrews 9.12 It cleanses our consciousness I mean it cleanses our conscience from dead works to serve the living God. Hebrews 9.14 It is the means by which we enter the most holy place with boldness. Hebrew 10:19. Nos trae a los lugares by means by which we enter the most holy place with boldness. What that means is now okay. we don't need a Levite priest. Go ahead. No necesitamos un, un sacerdote. Eso mm. significa que nos lleva. Okay, I, I, I you got it now. Go ahead. Nos trae de, a los lugares más santos con. Uh, Con fuerza. By which we enter the most holy. How we go to church. How we go to prayer. Vamos a la iglesia, Amen. Amen. All right. What I'm trying to say is, we don't have to have someone pray for us. Ahora ya no tenemos que tener alguien que por We don't have to have someone go to God before us. No tenemos que tener alguien we que vaya a por nosotros. We can go to God's presence on our own. Nosotros podemos llegar a la presencia de Dios por nosotros mismos. I don't have to call pastor every time. Yo, yo, yo no tengo que llamar al pastor todo el tiempo. I don't have to call a minister every time. Yo no tengo que llamar al ministro, al ministro todo el tiempo. Por I oración. now have free access. Ahora to tengo God. libre acceso a Dios. Oh my own. Por mí mismo. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And that's what the blood has done for you too. I think I should write that down instead of this. Okay. <laughs> All right. Number fourteen. It's the Thompson. A better word than the blood of Abel. Now that's it. Explica. Habla. Una mejor palabra than Abel. Okay. And, you know, Cain and Abel in Genesis. So you remember his blood hit the ground. Habla como como habló la sangre de Abel. So his <laughs> Jesus' blood is better than the blood of Abel. La sangre de Jesús es mejor que la sangre de Abel que habló. And that's in uh, Hebrews 12:24. Hebreos 12:24. It sanctifies us. Nos santifica. Amen. Hebrews 13:12. Hebreos 13:12. It makes us complete for every good work. Nos, nos hace completo para cada buen trabajo. Hebrews 13, Hebreos 13, 20 to 21. 20 al 21. It cleanses us from all sin. Nos limpia de todo pecado. 1 John, 1 John 1, 7. 1, 1, 7. Amen. Three more. Tres más. It bears witness. It bears witness. Right? At the one. In the earth. In the tierra. Along with the spirit. Junto con el espíritu. And water. Y el agua. 1 John 5.8 It is the means by which Jesus washes us. Es el significado por el cual Jesús nos lavó. Revelation 1.5 Apocalipsis 1.5 And Revelation 7.14 Y 7.14 And the final one. Y finalmente Tell them I'm going to send you these notes so you can print it out if they want. Me va a mandar estas notas así que las vamos a poder imprimir. It is by it is the means by which we overcome the accuser of the brother. It's by means we overcome the devil. The blood is the reason why we can overcome the devil. Okay, la sangre es la razón por la cual ayúdenme los de los de allá atrás o los de acá. That's a good one. There. Without the blood, we could never overcome the devil. Okay, si no tuviéramos la sangre, no pudiéramos pelear en contra el diablo. Amen. Revelation. 12, 11. All right. Now I said all that, and I know that was detail. Dije todo eso y sé que es un poco detalloso. But I had to give you an example of what the blood did for us. But I had to give you an example of what the blood did. Tengo que darles un ejemplo de qué fue lo que hizo la sangre por nosotros. So that I can explain what the three crosses. Y lo voy a explicar con las tres cruces. So we're going to look at why and what the purpose of the three crosses were. Así de que vamos a ver por qué y cuál fue el propósito de las tres cruces. Now go to Luke 23. Vamos a Lucas 23. 
Luke 23. A lot of scripture, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I told you. Pastor. That's good. That's good. But is it good or not? Sir? It, it is. Thank you. Luke 23. Well, this is the kind of teaching of music. Amen. That's good. Amen. Amen. <laughs> I it's like going to school. Yeah, it's like going to school when I go to church. Hey! <laughs> That's why I said they go to college. Amen. <laughs> Amen. All right, Luke 23. Look at the dress. Now, grab your boots because this one is coming. I got to be a soul. And we're going to start at verse 33. Now, I'm going to stop in the middle of our reading and okay, explain certain things. Okay? All right. No, Starting at verse 33. Ready? 33. Listos? Lucas 23, versículo 33. And when they were come to the place, which is called Calvary, they were crucified him, and the male factors, one on the right hand and the other on the left hand, read. Y cuando llegaron al lugar llamado la calavera, o, o Calvario, le crucificaron allí, y los malhechores, uno a la derecha y a otro a la izquierda. Then said Jesus, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they parted his raiment and cast lots. Read. Y Jesús decía, Padre, perdónanos, porque no saben lo que hacen. Y repartieron entre sí sus vestidos, y echando suertes. I do not care. No me importa. How many movies. Cuántas películas. You seen. Has visto. With Jesus hanging there. Con Jesús colgando ahí. Saying, forgive them. Diciendo, perdónanos. For they know not what they do. Porque no saben lo que hacen. That is not what happened. Eso no es lo que pasó. The truth of what happened was la realidad es lo que pasó. he was laying on the ground que estaba tirado en el suelo. and when they were nailing him while on the ground y cuando lo estaban clavando en el suelo. each hand he hit they hit en cada mano que le he le said dio, Father dijo, uh, Padre, forgive them uh, perdónalo, huh? for they know not what they do in the feet uh, porque no saben lo que hacen en los so he was laying down así de que estaba tirado. when they nailed him cuando lo estaban clavando. Amen. Amen. I know you saw the movies. Yo sé, yo sé que has visto todas esas películas. But the truth is, they la realidad them. es que on the ground that looked like this. En el suelo y se veía, se veía así. Amen. Verse 35. And the people stood holding, and the rulers with them, deriding him, saying, He saved others. Let him save himself. If he be Christ, the chosen of God. Read. Versículo 35, el pueblo estaba mirando y a un, eh, a un gobernante se burlaban de él, diciendo, And a otro salvó, sálvese a sí mismo, si este es el Cristo, el escogido de Dios. And the soldiers also mocked him, coming to him, and offering him vinegar, read. Y los soldados también le escarnecían, acercándose y presentando de vinagre. And say, if thou be the king of the Jews, save thyself, read. Y diciendo, si tú eres el rey de los judíos, sálvate a ti mismo. Now we can read in heaven. And a subscription also was written over him in letters of Greek, Latin, and Hebrew. This is the king of the Jews. Read. Y había también sobre él un título escrito con letras griegas, latinas y hebreas. Este es el rey de los judíos. And one of the male factors, which was hanged, railed on him, saying, If thou be the Christ, save thyself and us. Read. Y uno de los malhechores que estaban colgados en Jurea diciendo, si tú eres el Cristo, sálvate a ti mismo y a nosotros. But the other answering rebuked him, saying, Doeth not thou fear God, seeing thou art in the same condemnation? Read. Respondiendo el otro, le reprendió diciendo, ni aun temes tú a Dios estando en la misma condenación. And we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds, but this man has done nothing amiss. Read 41. Nosotros a la verdad justamente padecemos porque recibimos lo que merecían nuestros hechos, mas este ningún mal hizo. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou cometh into thy kingdom. Read. Y dijo Jesús, acuérdate de mí cuando vengas en tu reino. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today shalt thou be with me in paradise. Read. Entonces Jesús le dijo, De cierto te digo que hoy estarás conmigo en el paraíso. And it was about the sixth hour, and there was darkness all over the earth until the ninth hour. Read. Cuando era como la hora sexta, hubo tinieblas sobre toda la tierra hasta la hora novena. And the sun was darkened, the sun, and the sun was darkened, and the veil of the temple was rent in the mist. 
And when Jesus had cried with a loud voice, he said, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. And having said thus, he gave up the ghost. Read. Y el sol se oscureció y el velo del templo se rasgó por la mitad. Entonces Jesús, clamando gran voz, dijo, Padre, tus manos se comiendo mi espíritu. Y habiendo dicho esto, expiró. Now, when the centurion saw what was done, he glorified God, saying, Certainly, this was a righteous man. And all the people that came together to sight, beholding the things which were done, snapped their breasts and returned. Read 47 and 48.